Okay, welcome back. Um, you know, do you understand I want to have an introduction with music and I was going to steal some music and some video footage. I wanted to do like a, a Bob Ross type of thing and that sort of stuff, but uh, my wife told me it violates the terms of service for YouTube. So here's the best that you got is this guy from what was called Beavis and Butthead in the 90s, uh, Hippie Teacher. That's me. Um, long hair and the goatee and all that kind of stuff. You know, I actually did that once. Grew my hair out, did the whole goatee, bought the Lennon glasses, looked like John Lennon. I highly recommend that, gentlemen. You got to do that once, grow that hair out and have that, that long, gorgeous hair. Um, except for my hair didn't come out long and gorgeous. It started to like curl up underneath and I, I look like, you ever see like a deck of playing cards? I look like the king of diamonds on the deck of playing cards. But anyway, you know me, laid back, so I figured this was appropriate. All right, so what is the concentration of lead uh, in Michigan, Flint, Michigan? Oh, that's not funny. Um, the equilibria for this is lead iodide dissolves into the water supply and produces lead 2 plus ions plus two times iodide so they're saying it begins to precipitate in a solution that is or they give the iodine concentration so this is the common ion effect we already know the iodide concentration but we got to fit it into our system so ksp for this is lead times iodide squared. Now notice I didn't do two times iodide. And the reason why is that's not the format for KSP. It's two times the solubility of the iodide. I'm sorry, the solubility of the iodide is two times that of the lead ion. But in this case, we're not dealing with a solution that is uh, just lead iodide. What we have is probably sodium iodide or potassium iodide mixed in with maybe um, lead nitrate or some other soluble lead substance and we already know the concentration of the iodide. Again, it's not gonna be exactly 0 0.40 molar. It's gonna be a Le Chatelier shift to the left, and we're gonna wind up with a slightly lower than 0.4, but it's gonna be so close to 0.4 that the difference is negligible. So I can make that substitution, and I can go ahead and solve for the lead two plus concentration. So lead two plus is gonna be equal to KSP divided by Iodine squared, substitute in. And we already know that concentration is 0 0.40 molar. We're gonna square that. And, all right. Do one exponential negative eight divided by 0.4. And the most common mistake is to forget to square the 0.4. And I get 6.25 times, oh my goodness, my calculator and I am old and having trouble seeing it. Is that an eight or is that like fading? Is that's a six? I think it's an eight. 6.2 times 10 to the minus eight. Dude, it had better be right. It had better be right or I'm going to get all hippie. Okay. They did the old rounding rule. They did 6.25 and rounded it up to 3. We, of course, round to the even number, so it's 6.2 times 10 to the minus 8. Either way. Now, the next question is pretty much the same question because, again, repetition. Common ion effect. Don't know why I do that when I steal these problems. You get silver chloride, and that's going to break up into silver plus chloride and molar solubility oh I chose this problem because again different terminology molar solubility means what is the solubility at KSP so we know that the solubility of the silver chloride is going to be equal to the concentration of the silver or the concentration of the chloride if there was nothing but silver chloride in there However, the problem is we can't go with the chloride concentration because we're dealing with a Le Chatelier shift again to the left, common ion effect. We have a ton of sodium chloride, probably salt, right? 
right? Sodium chloride is probably mixed in there with the uh, silver nitrate, and we're getting this silver chloride precipitate. All right, so let's go ahead and substitute that into KSP. KSP is silver times chloride, and they gave us the value, <laughs> I can't see the value now, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10. Let's solve for silver. So we get silver is KSP divided by chloride. If you're wondering what that noise in the background is, it's my air conditioner. Yeah, yeah, I know it's cold outside. In my office, for some reason, the thermostat doesn't work up here. So it is hot all year round up here. And so I have an air conditioner going on in the late winter Okay, let's substitute in 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10, and we'll dissolve that by, or divide by a chloride, which was 0 0.20 molar. And I should know that this is 3.6 times 10 to the minus 9, but I'm going to check it anyway, because you know me in arithmetic. As I get older, my arithmetic is awful. In fact, it was not at all that. <laughs> So this comes out to be 9.0 times 10 to the minus 10. Yay, which matches, got it right. And those are those two questions. And again, thank you for, you know, sharing this precious moment with me where I had an opportunity to bear my soul through KSP calculations. And um, hey, I, I feel better. I, I hope you feel better and, uh, you know, do have a nice day. Hey, 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 old per- oh. Uh,